Honestly, last summer was probably the best summer I have ever had. But eventually summer came to an end, and it was time for me to go to college. Press the middle switch. Good bye. Good bye. Good bye. Good bye. Good bye. Good bye. All right. Well, All right. we have so much fun. I love this side. I want to see the boys hug. Come on. Sisters. I want to see you hug it out. Come on. Ah, oh, there you go. This would be like a big deal for you, boy. Awkward to them hug. Yes. Okay. Bye. All right, I'm leaving. That's never happened. All right. I think he's ready to go. Well, I am stuck in traffic that is delaying my trip by multiple hours. So, it's basically standstill traffic and there's only one thing I can think of to do. You're welcome, you're welcome, you're welcome. You're all very welcome for my concert. You know, I think this is a really good early lesson about things not really going right on this trip. I haven't pressed the gas pedal in probably 30 minutes, um, but I'm still having a great time. I'm having a really great time. Little did I know, I had another surprise waiting for me at the inn. Okay, so slight problem. The hotel I booked, I have to be 21. So now I'm in Tallahassee and I don't know where I'm gonna sleep. It is 8.37 p.m. And every time it rains, it rains, and it's from heaven. As you can see, I found a hotel room. It's pretty good. So most of the lights work. It smells kind of funky. Um, and the bathroom AC vent goes burr. But we're good, we're good. We are officially at the first stop of the trip. Okay, pause, rewind. Now might be a good time to explain the details of my trip. You see, the college I'm going to is in California, Los Angeles specifically, and I am from South Florida. Now, because I want to bring my car to college, and because I'm not gonna lie, I wanted a really cool, awesome, dramatic, coming of age style adventure, 
I decide to take a 13 day road trip across the country by myself with literally no other plan other than to not die. Hopefully. I don't know what I'm eating. I don't know where I am sleeping. And my only other companion and tether to sanity is a puppet tiger that I thrifted for a photo shoot. His name is Pilchard. He might be cursed. That's not, that's besides, that's not, that's not, that's not, that's not the point. Anyways, thank you for tuning in to my adventure, which I would like to call. Part one of two. Okay, so for day two of my road trip, I was passing through Alabama. I was originally really excited for this part of the trip, but I'm not going to lie, it ended up being really stressful and frustrating. However, looking over all the footage I recorded, it all just seems very laughable. So make of it what you will. It's day two of my trip and I'm driving north. I really want to see this one place in Alabama. It's a big sinkhole. I have the coordinates for it. Hopefully I can see it and it's not like, I don't know. I am stuck in the middle of nowhere in Alabama and I'm hungry and lost and I have no internet. So I have nowhere, I have no idea where to go. Um, all right, so I was looking for the sinkhole and um, now I'm on some private, I think it's on like private farmland property, but I'm not exactly sure. Okay. Welcome to Farmtown. Alabama, you are a riot. Not much to see here, but some farms. So I'm just under some random bridge in Alabama. So, I don't know what to do. Uh... Boy, 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 boy. Ba, 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 ba. I don't know what these tracks are, but don't really want to hang around. Oh boy. All right, back to the car. There was actually one cool thing I did, which was going to the unclaimed baggage center and getting my new favorite bracelet. But overall, I would rate Alabama four out of 10. Would not recommend. Am I lonely yet? I don't know. I'm staying in Tennessee today, I think. After my rough time in Alabama, I decided I needed to relieve some stress. So I impulsively booked an Airbnb in Greenville, Tennessee. Um, and honestly, the stop did exactly what I needed it to do. It gave me some peace, it refreshed me for the rest of my trip, and it made me forget the fact that I just drove five hours in the wrong direction to get here. Also, I found the best spot to leave behind one of my sentimental objects. Oh yeah, so that's another thing I should probably explain. Meet the memory box. A shoebox full of random objects that have sentimental value to me. In each state I pass through, I plan to leave behind something. The idea here is that I'm growing up and leaving behind my childhood, I guess. So in Florida, I left behind my entire life, and in Alabama, I left behind an alligator eye bouncy ball. For Tennessee, I'm going to leave behind this wizard guy.
that night, I think everything started to catch up with me, and I started feeling really lonely. I guess I was realizing how truly alone I was. It was just me, by myself, hundreds of miles from anyone I knew. The next couple days, however, were better. Airbnb has been accepted, and it's a fucking castle. It is a fucking castle, man. And so, right on the border outside of Oklahoma, in a little town called Mena, Arkansas, I had officially made it to the halfway point of my trip. The donkey here. Let's get some firewood. This one looks good. No, this one looks better. It's one, two. Let's get these three. That night, I decided to have a campfire on the roof of the castle with the woman who built it. I'm Rosalie Winchester. I own Dreamland Vacation Resort. I've lived here for going on 28 years. My husband thought we were very selfish not sharing this place because it was so beautiful. He looked out on the porch uh, shortly after he found out he was going to die. And he said, you know, if you do have, if a person has to die, I can't think of a more beautiful place to do it. Good morning, everyone. Gather round, grab a chair. Make yourself a drink, blow your smoke into the air. Contemporary sadness and fire-breathing dragons are everywhere. But the days go by, here and old, velvety. And the way that it goes is just the way that it is. But do you ever wonder if anyone is ever going to make it out? Let it all go, man. Let it all go, man. Let it all go, man. Hey, Logan. So, 
Wherever you may be going to college, I am praying only for the best for you because I am super grateful for everything that you have done for me in the past. I've always been so professional about it, you know? I bet that sort of attitude will take you places. Take places. So I hope again you're leaving tomorrow. I hope you have a really, really fun time at college. I hope you make cool friends that take you to cool places. Mm -hmm. Hi, Logan. I just want to say that I'm really going to miss you when you go off to college and I wanted to thank you for being a really, really great friend to me and just a really great role model. You have given me a sort of friend yet teacher slash mentor sort of role. And I'm very thankful for our friendship and all the experiences that we've shared. It's been a lot over the past couple of years. I hope you remember us. Is it mad? Well, obviously you will because you'll be coming back. No, like later. You're, you're not allowed. You. you will not allowed. Okay. Love you. No matter what I've learned over the years, I thought abundance, abundant life meant having everything. But abundant life is having closeness to people, your friends, your family, really living each day, making great memories. So for Arkansas, I'm going to leave behind something pretty special to me. This cape. Let it all go. Well, there he is with his cape. not all about materialism. It's what you get out of life. And you get out of life what you put into it.